Okay, I like that a lot. I just heard um, Ian Crossland explaining about how a republic no longer works. We need kind of like a direct democracy, but not quite. We, a direct democracy will not work because Aaron Sorkin said that most people don't most people don't know about the things. All right, you have an opinion, but you don't know about the things. But you have an idea, and an idea goes to everyone. So in the two houses of government, we have representative of the people and then representative of the states. Basically, the person, we have a saying, and then where you live has a say. So your mind and your body, those are the two houses of, of your government, parliament, whatever. Wow, you can do that for every government, whatever you call it. Your mind is the people's house and your body is the parliament because it's all right, you can free your mind as long as I own your ass. Okay, so everything that we vote on has to come from the people's house. Not the highest court. This, the highest court, is the people, not the Senate. So that's where everything originates, from the people. Yes, I have the interview paused at 4217 with Ian Crossland on the Liberty Lockdown episode 123 with Ian Crossland and the Nature of the Universe. I need glasses. I have glasses, I don't wear them. But, yeah, that's how you have to do it. You have to have everyone all together voting for whatever you need. And then the land, you know, the thing that owns your where your ass is, you get to vote for that as well. If you don't like what you're... Then you move your ass to another place, and then your ass has a different vote. But, yeah. If we alter that, but that means that a person has to give up their power, and we're not good at that. Because we want more. We always do it. That's why we're giving you more power. And that's why whoever has the power now will take it back. It's inevitable. Whoever has the power now will fight for it. So, if no one knows about the fact that you have the power, to be the head of your parliamentary system, your governmental system, and the heart, that your beating heart that controls your body is the Senate, the beating heart of the Colosseum. We need to change the world. Whoever knows how to translate into a, the different language, and it is a different language, of legalese. Regular people go in there and say, hey, I'm right and you're wrong, and the government says, no, you didn't say the right words. Magic words. Okay. Yeah, you're the judge that's supposed to determine right from wrong. How about determine of your peers and not somebody else? How, how are you going to have somebody who's never driven a truck determine what the rules for trucks are, and when two truckers have a disagreement, then the judge who doesn't know about trucks says, hmm, this person's right, that person's wrong, hmm, because of the law. No, have somebody who knows what the hell they're talking about. I mean, that's where it gets difficult, but also where I think that we take our privacy for, you know, we think it's worth more than what it is. We should share it, but we should know that we're sharing it. It shouldn't be taken from us, it should be freely given. And never forced from us, but we should want to give it. Voluntary communism. But there needs to be a system in place for people who don't want that system. So we need an overlaying 
overarching so that you can be free inside of it. It used to be America. All right, hang on a second. I'm, I've, I've reached another curve of the conversation. I don't know where that one's going to. I think it's got a curve back. I don't see the, the second half of the conversation yet, so I'll come back.